Hey everyone, it's Lauren Messiah here, and in today's video, we are talking about an interesting phenomenon that has to do with style and couples. Couples who dress alike. So the other day, I was at the little coffee shop that I hang out at every Sunday, sitting there, drinking my little tea, and I look over at this couple who is like all over each other, and so I'm looking, not because they're all over each other, but because I'm like, they look exactly alike. <laughs> it was a guy and a girl who like could have been twins because they were dressed alike. They had the same style of glasses. I mean, it was crazy. So I whip out my phone. No, I did not like take a picture or do anything weird, but I wrote a note to myself, must research this phenomenon. <laughs> because couples be dressing alike, and I wanted to know why. So apparently, it's really an actual thing. It's a thing that begins to happen about six months into the relationship. Couples naturally, like on a completely subconscious level, start dressing alike. And the reason that they do this is because they want to naturally fit in with their significant other. So once they've decided, you know, once six months in, you're like, all right, kind of like each other. We've got through that first three months where we're in love, but it's really just lust and horniness and whatever else. But by six months, we've already kind of been introduced to each other's flaws. You kind of like each other. You want to spend more time. So you want to fit in to really make this relationship work. So on a subconscious level, you start kind of picking up, you know, their different mannerisms and tendencies and their looks as far as their apparel and style goes. This is showing that you fit and also showing that you are like united on, you know, on a front as a couple. So I thought that was fascinating. It's not like a conscious thing of like, you have square glasses, I'm gonna get square glasses too. It's just like this mighty morphing of the subconscious that says, world, we're a couple, look at us dressing alike. So as fascinating as that may be, I think there's definitely a point where sometimes that shit just goes way too far. So you can see like if you look at celebrity photos of couples who dress alike, you're like, wow, some of them it seems really natural and some of them it really feels like some body snatcher level foolery where the other person has completely lost their identity because of the person that they're dating. I've definitely had experiences where I have seen the couple dressing alike thing in my own life. I remember one guy that I was dating, he dressed terrible and my dressing awesome, started to rub off on him. He started to care more about his style, was choosing things that are cooler. So to me, that was like a score. But another relationship that I was in, I definitely noticed, especially looking back at old photos, we definitely dressed like alike alike. Even at one point, I'm ashamed to say it, we totally had matching sweaters, like, for real. <laughs> and I could really see in that relationship, because it was a five year relationship, that my style really was formed based more upon that person than my own identity, which I feel can be pretty dangerous. So I think it's good to know that this is actually a thing so you can kind of keep your eye on it to be like, okay, am I completely losing myself or am I like, combining all of the great features of me and this other person and we kind of look alike and maybe it's kind of cute. When it gets dangerous, we got to like check ourselves. Maybe you can tell a friend like, hey, heard about this thing, start dressing like each other at six months. If I start getting crazy, tap me on the shoulder, let me know, take me shopping. Kim Kardashian, I mean, she had her own style going on. Monica Rose was styling her like she had a thing. Second you started fooling around with Kanye, she's like a little mini big butted Kanye walking around. I am not convinced that that is her true personal style. I think she's very heavily influenced by Kanye and that is a little weird to me. 
So just some food for thought there on couples who dress alike. Hop down in the comments below and let me know, have you ever dressed like your significant other? Or do you do that now and think it's just the cutest freaking thing? <laughs> Weigh in in the comments section. I'd love to hear your thoughts. While you're down there, pick up some of my style freebies. I have free downloads below every single video. You just have to, you know, click the little link, choose which one you want. Got checklists, ebooks, all free. And finally, do me a favor and subscribe to this YouTube channel because I don't want you missing a single video and I will see you in the next one. Laura Messiah. So, I'm Laura Messiah. Hello. <laughs> Here I took a oversized Dodgers jersey, which is for a man. Yeah. Put a belt over it Look and some that. heels. We have just brought sexy back yes, you have. to the Dodgers. So, you know. I mean, the Puig jersey has never looked so good. <laughs> like this.